What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks, and I'm here today with another installment of my two minute tip series where I try to answer specific questions about logic in or around two minutes. Generally, I go way over, but let's see if we can hit that mark today. I'm talking about sample replacement. Chicken, chicken. So if you work with live drums at all, I'm sure you're familiar with the process of enhancing your drum sound with the use of samples. Um, so like, uh, especially kicks and snares, if they're weak, they're not working for you, you wanna enhance them or either that or replace them with a sample. And Logic has provided a really simple solution for uh, getting this done. It's a matter of a couple clicks. I'm just gonna play this uh, drum kit that I have pulled up here so you can hear what we're working with. Okay, so if, say I wanted to uh, double that kick. All I need to do is select the track and go up to this track menu at the top and you'll find replace or double drum track. Yes, it's that easy. Now it's gonna analyze your audio track here and it's going to place a uh, MIDI hit wherever it finds a kick. And uh, this is gonna be adjusted for timing and for intensity to match up with your source audio. Um, so I'm just gonna go through this menu over here quickly. Uh, obviously we're going for the kick, but you wanna make sure that you get your instrument selected up there. We're gonna do uh, doubling, but if you were to select replacement, that would just mute the source audio. The threshold, that is going to entirely depend on your source audio um, and you're gonna to want to drag this up higher if you have a lot of bleed so that it doesn't accidentally um, start placing hits um, from other kit pieces that are bleeding into your uh, source audio. Um, trigger note, you can leave this on auto. Uh, for most cases, this is just referring to where the uh, samples fall on the uh, MIDI keyboard. Um, and then timing offset, you can leave this at zero in most cases. I did read in the manual that this is really for, if you use third party samplers, there may be some latency that you need to compensate for. So knowing that, we're just gonna click okay. And then you will see over here in the menu, um, if you didn't have your library open, it should be now. Uh, all the way at the left, we've got factory, drums and percussion, single drums, kicks, acoustic kicks. So you can choose from acoustic kicks, electronic kicks, layer kicks. If you had some of your own samples, those would be in a different section of the menu, but we're just gonna go with what uh, Logic has provided here. This is, These are all the things that you get just stock within Logic. So pretty cool, a very wide selection. I'm just gonna play it and go through a couple of these and we can hear how this might really enhance our drum kit. Try some electronic kicks. If you feel like this content has been a benefit to you, you don't have to smash the like button. You're gonna break something. All you have to do is click it. I would really appreciate it. And if you're looking for other ways you can support the channel and what I'm doing here, head on over to SojournerTracks.com. There'll be a link in the description below. You can grab yourself some of my free guides as well as the 2020 edition of my Producer Proverbs Tips series. And I will leave links to my Patreon page where you can grab yourself some exclusive content over there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.